Oh my god, guys. I can't believe it. Ah, uh, it burns. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Yes, uh, the home that my partner RJ and I built the past five years. Reaching the end now, guys. Mabu High Squad, get this. One of the workers caught something that they want to show me and I'm kind of nervous to see it. By the way, welcome to another vlog. Let's see. OMG guys, so this here guys is a reticulated python. It's just a baby, um, no venom. It's a constrictor, see it? But these guys can grow up to 20 feet long, guys. It's crazy. All right, gonna let this go. It'll eat the rats and stuff in the area. Bye buddy, nice meeting ya. Guys, isn't that crazy? Pythons are native to where I live. By the way, this here is the Philippines. Beautiful, beautiful Philippine islands. Um, we live in a province called Cavite, which is just about an hour outside of Metro Manila, the capital. And uh, we are out here. The Mabuhay Squad farmhouse is built in the middle of like, obviously you could see this forest, tropical forest in our yard, an expanse of wildlife. Um, live there, including snakes. Uh, but it's okay. I'm okay with snakes of that size living here. Um, I don't want the 20 foot long snakes living anywhere near here. Uh, but I'm not sure if they have prey large enough to get that big here. Um, still have not seen any snake, huge, huge snakes, thankfully. Um, but yeah, love being out here in nature. It's wonderful. Oh my gosh, guys, look! <gasps> For those of you who've been following the vlogs, um, several days ago, I planted a special hybrid of peppers here in our collection of herbs and stuff we have near our kitchen. And guys, I've been waiting forever. And look, I see little sprouts. Yay! The peppers are growing. See, there are more here. <gasps> Wow, nature's awesome. I think that's it, right? Oh my gosh, so cool. So this, I said it's a hybrid because these peppers are a hybrid of Sili Labuyo, which is the Philippine version of chili peppers, and Carolina Reaper, guys, from the US. So it's really spicy. Oh, I'm so happy. We're gonna have our own peppers, yay. All right, guys, so we just did groceries and going to, I've been trying to organize the fridge here um, just so things have a little bit of rhyme and reason. Lots of eggs. We went shopping for a lot of different drinks. Uh, see, I've got lots of these. Coconut water. I love coconut water. Um, no sugar added. It's better out of the coconut, but that's 100% coconut juice. Nothing added. Um, love bubbly water. See, got our Perrier. Also, finally tried this, kombucha. So for those of you who are new to it, it's basically fermented black and green tea leaves. It's made in Australia. Like, I think that's where it originated. Um, but it's great because since it's fermented, it offers some amazing prebiotics. So it's actually really good for you and it's bubbly. This one is flavored. There's peach and I have like mint lime up there too. So tried it and it's interesting. It's got an interesting taste guys. I love it. And of course, speaking of prebiotics, I also bought a tub of yogurt. Yes, prebiotics. It's all what it's all about. We need healthy gut. So yeah, trying to organize stuff here. Fruits, got some fruits, some blueberries imported from Mexico, strangely. Pineapple, although we could get it on the market fresh. I don't know. We just got it. Um, and then, obviously, you guys have seen this, right? Overnight oats, my famous recipe. So much goodness in there. Okay, doggies, there's Brittany and Rizal and Sahara all playing. Our dogs are going crazy. Oh my gosh! The furniture, guys! Please mind the furniture. 
Okay, time to go outside, guys. Let's go. Time to take that awesome, awesome energy out into the yard. Ready? One, two, three, go! All right. Oh, my. And there they go to the stuff house. <laughs> Guys, the pool, OMG, it's so good here. The water's so warm. Let's swim. I'm gonna try to get my dogs to at least wade. Good girl, come. Okay, okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. See? I wonder if you can swim. Here, come. Inside the water. See? See? Guys, Brittany's. She's okay. She looks okay. She's a little nervous. But see, this is water. This is water. Yeah. This is out. Hey, Rizalvi, look. Brittany and I are in the water. Okay, Brittany, I'm gonna see if you can dog paddle. Let's just float. Just float, see? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, I'm gonna let her go and see if she can swim to that one. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go! Swim! 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 Good girl! Good girl! No! This way! This way! There. Good girl! Yay! Good girl! That was awesome! OMG! It's good to get the dogs used to water slowly. That session was, I think, okay. At least she knows now that she can go up to these steps here. Mabuhai Squad, so we have speakers here, right? that play throughout the property. And I love playing Jurassic Park theme music, like from the movie by John Williams. The scoring of Jurassic Park, best movie of the world, by the way, is so perfect, like for this forest, look. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, look at that huge, look at that huge bird. Oh my gosh, see in the music just like played perfectly. Guys, there was a huge crane flying in the air. I think it was like a, an egret or something. Wow, speaking of dinosaurs, I need to watch the forest. It's around this time that all the birds start coming out. Like usually it's sunset now but it's overcast so there is no sun but it's at this time that all the shy animals emerge from the forest oh i love this theme music and then as you look up into the sky a pair of huge cranes migrate to a nearby pond ah oh. Earth is so wonderful. I love this soundtrack, guys. Okay, I should stop before content match. Speaking of which, Mabuhai Squad, Jurassic Park, here's some trivia, celebrated their 20th year anniversary this month in June. Isn't that crazy? <gasps> Honestly, I, I was turning 12 years old. This is my birthday month. I remember going into the theater at Eaton Center in Toronto and I left changed, guys. That movie blew my mind. I was so into dinosaurs, but not, not only that, like it was the cinematic storytelling and the drama, like the soundtrack was just, wow. Uh, do they still make movies like that? I'm not sure. But oh, it was such a moving movie. It changed my life and it changed the way I told stories. Like from as a 12 year old kid from then on. 
for Ants Canada, for those of you who watch our Ants Canada channel. That is all Jurassic Park every week, basically. Only instead of humongous dinosaurs, it's little tiny ants. Even though ants are really, really tiny, their stories and their worlds are huge and massive like that of dinosaurs. So go watch the Ants Canada channel if you haven't yet. You'll see little hints of Jurassic Park in every episode. Mm -hmm. I miss Jurassic Park. And another cool fact, John Williams, the one who created the soundtrack for Jurassic Park, was also the creator of the soundtrack for the Star Wars movies, Home Alone, Jaws, all those really good classic movies. John Williams was the go-to guy for creating really memorable, impactful um, sound tracks to, to films. He's awesome, you should go check out his work. He's got like something crazy, like 20 or 30 Academy Award nomination. Like it's crazy. All right, Mabu High Squad, so it's nighttime and about to go to bed, but I really wanted to try this. So this is one of the several true chocolates that was given to RJ and I as a gift from um, two friends that we recently hosted, Nicole and Ellis. Remember when Byron, Nicole and Ellis from Toronto came here? Uh, Byron being my high school best friend. Well, they stayed here for three weeks and this was one of the several chocolates that they gave us. And guys, this is legit. It's cacao. And it's from a Canadian company, I believe. And the company is called Choco Choco Soul Traders. ChocoSoulTraders.com. See that at the bottom? And I wanted to taste a piece of this chocolate. RJ's already tasted it just a few seconds ago. And he's like, hmm. So I'm gonna taste it too. It looks like, look at it. It looks like it's got several cool chunks of what is that, cacao nibs? Anyways, let's try it. This is called Jaguar Crunch. Stone ground, stone ground dark chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. 80% cacao blanco. Okay, so it's like salty-ish. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. -hmm. So guys, in case you don't know, dark chocolate is quite healthy. Lots of antioxidants, a lot of health benefits to eating like true dark chocolate. Ben, you want another? You want more? Oh, it's so good. Mmm. This is quite good. It's like salty ish. Very, very mildly sweet. A little bit of that bitterness of dark chocolate. Mmm. But it goes so well together. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. There's calcium in here, potassium, iron. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mabu High Squad. This chocolate, if you're a milk chocolate lover, this tastes different. This is different from the milk traditional chocolate that everybody loves. This is something else. Mmm. This chocolate is five Mabu High Stars. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nicole and Ellis. And we've got like three more bars of this. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and eat this slowly. Guys, here in our pantry, in our bedroom, and I just had the best idea. I'm gonna take some of the chocolate and I'm gonna pair it with pineapple. Oh, this is, I already know this is going to be awesome. Oh. MG, I already know with this healthiness, delicious healthiness. Okay, let's try. Do I eat it together? Mmm, I need to put more. Mmm, 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 mmm. I gotta be honest. <laughs> that didn't go well together. <laughs> I was searching for the the marriage, the chemistry. No. I'm sorry. This chocolate piece and this pineapple, not compatible. 
What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Good morning. A brand new day. Cypher is barking at Melody, who's sleeping right there. Good morning, Melody. Go. Cypher, come. Go out. Cypher. Go. Hey, no barking at Melody. Hey. 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 Melody is our friend. She's our friend. Okay? Guys, this is our resident farm cat, Melody. She's our friend. Let's go, come. Guys, look how beautiful the garden is. <gasps> so nice, gorgeous. Because it's rainy season now, by the way, the government just announced like last week that it's rainy season. Here in the Philippines, there isn't a set date for rainy season, summer. It's whenever the government, there's like a organization, I think it's Pagasa that determines when the new season starts. It just makes a nationwide announcement. So yeah guys, it's rainy season and it's been raining pretty much every day. And wow, look at the foliage, the flowers, all of the plumeria here, so big. Oh my gosh, look at the money tree, huge now. These trees, look at all, the, all that new growth. See, all of that there, that's new growth. All because it's been raining a lot. Really, really beautiful. Look, look at how thick. OMG, I think there needs to be a trimming. Or maybe that's the peg. It's so thick, the garden now. <gasps> wow, it's gorgeous. Look at all these flowers and look at all the little butterflies it's attracting. Oh, so nice in the morning. There's the pool. Wow, so nice. Bird's nest fern with its new leaves. Man, everything is just thriving. Wow, look at the, that money tree. All those new growths. The robot is vacuuming the pool. Good morning, robot. Oh, everything looks splendid. Forest also, like really lush because of rainy season. Palm trees really really lush and tall i love rainy season <laughs> like before i used to be like ah it rains every day but now that we live on a farm guys i can really see how much the plants thrive during rainy season and how they kind of die slash go into hibernation during summer when it doesn't rain they like lose their leaves and they look all dead and ugly but during rainy season wow it's stunning RJ and I were also looking at this area. I was telling him that, look, look at how bushy, just stunning. It looks like a fairy tale, actually. Here, guys, let's go out there, too. This here is the Gaia's path. Our late African gray parrot was buried here. Look, oh, man. It's just overflowing. And I just love the mixture of plants. There are like five or six different species of plants along this like side here and the mixture just looks so good together see it's like a mix of these whatever this is a mix of these which are like chinese uh, firecrackers a mix of these plants these variegated sort of leafed plants and then if you go along here you'll see these vines like see this vine holy it grew <laughs> There's Rizal. Hi, Rizalzies. Look at this vine. Whoa. Look at that flower. These flowers are stunning. A long, long vine. Oh, it's stunning. See? See how it just cascades down the wall? At first, I was like, mm, skeptical. I'm like, because when you first plant these sort of hanging plants, you don't get to see their full beauty. But then when they establish guys and they start to thrive like right now, oh, it looks amazing together. It's like an explosion of beautiful foliage. See these blue flowers here, cute. Plants really filled in nicely. What do you guys say? Let's see our bananas, guys. Ooh, there's our Saba bananas. Um, they're not ready to harvest though. Oh, guys, looks like another frog laid an egg mass here. Frogs have been breeding in this sort of miniature pond we've created um, in this huge pot. I have seen tadpoles here. They're so cute, little tadpoles swimming around. There are fish in here, snails, 
I put guppies in there to eat the mosquitoes, thank goodness. I haven't seen any mosquito larvae in there, and I do know that uh, the guppies are feasting. Oh, hello, little peppers. My little baby silly demonio. You guys are looking beautiful. Look at them. I can't wait. OMG, guys. There is another cat hanging out. Hi. Who are you? What? Are you are you a boy or a girl? Hi. You're beautiful. No, I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, it's a boy. Okay, I wonder if that's the dad of Melody's kittens who recently passed away. Don't worry, it's okay. Hey, come here. He's like, oh, hell no. Come. Don't be scared. Okay, see ya. Oh. Looks like we have a male cat, a resident male cat. There are several males who frequent this area, and I think they fight for the territory and the right to mate with Melody. That was a beautiful cat. He's shy though. Mabuhai squad was eating dinner, and I wanted to show you what I've been obsessed with. So lately, I've been into um, making just healthy bowls, <laughs> and they're very simple. I just take black and white rice, I usually have two proteins, which are usually five eggs. Yeah, five scrambled eggs thrown in here. A huge batch of vegetable like kangkong or sweet potato leaves, uh, kamote tops. Um, today I added some onion in there and hot pepper, some sili demonio. And I just mash it all up. Oh, and there's steak in here today. Last year, yesterday's had, um, what's it called? Pampano fish. But oh, guys, oh, and I can't forget, I also add a little little blob of kimchi sauce. You know, it's like the kimchi paste, flavoring paste. Oh, it's so good, guys, and healthy. And been drinking a little bit of coconut water and kombucha. So this is the main meal. I usually leave my main big meal for the end of the day. Like this bowl was completely full. It was like full, so I'm like more than halfway done. Um, but I will eat two relatively small meals before. So my first meal I have around one. Um, and it's uh, today, I, it's usually overnight oats. And then I'll have like a snack late afternoon, usually fruit. Today I had blueberries. And then this, dinner. Oh, and of course a protein shake during my workouts and coffee in the morning. Um, but that's pretty much what I eat, very simple. Every day, pretty much the same routine. Where I get screwed up is when we go out, like when we go to Manila, then the options are like certain restaurants, which restaurants are available, and I try to eat health conscious, but whatever. Even if I do cheat, which is frequently, I just adjust my workout, like I do more cardio or whatever. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. I love eating to nourish. It's so good. Good morning. Guys, I'm watching the conures bathe in their bowl. You see, they might not particularly like rain, but they love to bathe in their water bowl. <laughs> Even though they can't fit in it. Look at them. They're hilarious. So guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It is a Wednesday today. Yay, I've got lots of work to do. Um, RJ is out shopping. And you know, admittedly, today was supposed to be the day, guys, that we were going to film our official house tour. However, we aren't ready. <laughs> um, we tried to like, cram everything and like get all the rooms nice and prepped and stuff, but we're definitely not ready. I saw how stressed RJ was and I'm like, Beth, do you wanna just film it next week? But let's move the date. So we did, um, and I'm glad we did. So he's out in Manila shopping for random things, doing his Martha Stewart stuff. So yeah, I'm here at home, gonna do some work. And man, look at how beautiful it is today. Gorgeous day. Beautiful sunny morning. Now it'll probably rain this afternoon just because that's how it's been ever since. 
But let's go have coffee by the pool, guys. Why not? All right. Yes. It's a beautiful day. Let's open up. Look at that beautiful waterfall. Beautiful infinity pool line. Yes. It's a gorgeous day. And actually, I think I want to get in the pool. Guys, I spent so much time in the pool yesterday. I just didn't want to they don't want to leave. I find it's like swimming for me now is like, it's very much like meditation. I meditate when I swim. I just kind of float there and my water is under the ears so I can't really hear that much. It's just so relaxing. And I think about life. I think about others. I have to get myself some actual face sunscreen, dermatological sunscreen. I ran out. There, let that absorb. All right, guys. I look like a clown, but who's gonna see me? Nobody. OMG. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day. Oh, water, perfect. Oh, 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 water is wonderful, guys. Oh my gosh, my face. Let's make this the thumbnail. What do you guys say? All right, let's make this a thumbnail. Jia, take a thumbnail. And then we need to film an intro. Oh my God, guys, I can't believe it. Ah, it burns. There. <laughs> All right, guys, this vlog kind of is one of those random vlogs. No point to it. It's just today's multi-day journal entry. Cheers, guys. Let's have some coffee. All right, guys, I found a way that you guys can come join me. This floaty thing where we usually put food and all that. I'm going to put you down right there. Yeah. Oh, now you can come swim with me into the deep blue. Okay, got my coffee. Yes. This is what it's all about, Mobile High Squad, making great memories. Cheers. Ooh, I love this. Remember all the mornings and days we used to come here while the Mabu High Squad farmhouse was just being built? And we used to say, oh man, I can't wait for the mornings when we can go downstairs, make a coffee, and just hang out in the morning. Those days are here, oh my gosh. Mm. I can't believe it. It's a dream come true, guys. All right, let's go. Oh, water, Mabu High Squad, is awesome. You guys are floating. Let me turn you around. Look, blue water, nice sunny day. There's the forest. Come with me, Mabuhai Squad. Let us swim. My great friends from all over the world. So guys, I was hearing thunder a few moments ago. So it will thunderstorm again soon. Um, but that's okay. Our plants need, need the water. And like, look at the Bourgonvillea over there. It's just bursting forth through the fence. It's like, we love all of this water. Okay, I'm gonna stick my head in, guys. Ah, oh, yes. So beautiful today. Ah, oh, my Bohai squad, I'm so grateful. All right, guys, that was a nice afternoon swim. The sky is starting to cloud up now. It will rain soon, and my plants will drink. Yes. Guess it didn't rain. The birds are loving the sun. Look at how beautiful you look. Who is that? Is that Gabriella? Gabs, you look so beautiful. Sahara, doesn't Gabriella look beautiful? Guys, look at these birds in the sun. Stunning. Just stunning. You know, I've had birds indoors and they are equally as stunning, but nothing beats housing birds outside and let alone in their natural habitat, right? Because these blue-naped parrots are native to the Philippines. Are you okay, Sahara? These birds are native to the Philippines, so they're right at home in this weather. 
There's Marcelo. Hi, Marcelo. Hi, Mars. And Clara, way down there. Hey, Clara. Yup, guys, it's a thunderstorm coming. The thunder is so loud. You know, this house is really good if you're a storm lover because watching the rain is awesome. Hear that thunder? Um, a lot of the rooms have floor to ceiling, almost to ceiling glass on the second floor. So it really is great if you like watching the rain. So you could just grab a stool and sit right there. Or sometimes I'll sit here and watch through this window. Now, that lot there is also ours. Um, that's where I plan on doing most of our farming stuff. And that's gonna be phase B, guys. So yeah, we're finished the living area, but for this farmhouse to be a farm, we need a farm. We need to grow crops, keep anim animals, you know, like chickens and stuff. And that's gonna happen on that lot right there. And that lot extends all the way down, 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 down there. This here is the barracks. It's where the workers keep a lot of their tools and stuff. Um, and that portable down there is something new that RJ got. It's for storage. We're gonna decorate and make it look nice. Now, the side lot continues all the way down past the creek at the back as well. So there's a lot of space for us to do farming stuff. And it is raining, guys. <laughs> look, it's the blue napes turn to enjoy the rain. They love this. Uh, look at them. They're beaking. So good for their feathers. I know I keep saying this in the vlog, but for those of you who are new to birds, parrots in particular produce this thing called feather dust. What it does is it binds to germs and pathogens and viruses and all of that. And then when it rains or when they bathe, as you saw earlier with the crimson bellied conures, off comes that powder, that feather dust, along with the germs. So it's really good for their feathers. Most parrots naturally like the rain, but captive birds, you kind of have to, I guess you have to kind of teach them, but with my birds, they've always pretty much been outside, so they like the rain. And they can still fly when it rains. Hey, Sifes. Cypher is afraid. He hates thunder. You afraid, Sifes? Here's the ant room. Oh, let's look outside. I would love to swim in this rain, but I, I'm just afraid of lightning. The thunder sounds really close, guys. Watch, just at any moment now, it will strike and you'll be surprised at how loud it is. It's like a bomb. Oh man, this is such good rain for the plants. There was a medium-sized thunderclap. I'm waiting for those really loud ones where the glass reverberates. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Like. During these thunderstorms, if you like put your hand against here, the whole glass, pane of glass shakes. Now Cypher is terrified. Don't be scared, Cypher, it's okay. He's always been afraid. See, he's shaking now. He's always been afraid of thunder. <laughs> it's okay. Sahara loves watching the birds. The birds are still beaking. What are they doing, Sahara? This is how birds kind of show affection. They kind of regurgitate and feed each other. There was kind of a loud thunderclap. They get louder than that. Don't worry, Cypher. Thunderstorm is over. It's done now. Oh my gosh, guys. Now that the thunderstorm has stopped, look at the fog. It's gorgeous. Oh, wow. The birds are out. Oh my goodness. Look at that fog. Wow. Unreal, that fog looks crazy. And look at the sunset, guys. The sky looks incredible. Oh, I can't get over. Like, the pool is still, and that mist looks crazy right now. Like, the way the water is so still, and then the mist. Gosh, I love that. A misty forest is so mystic and beautiful that's amazing guys this water is calling me again <laughs> i just want to get in and swim all day isn't that amazing i mean look at that mist 
it is like a fairy tale, guys. Wow. OMG, guys. I gotta show you the roof deck right now. Look. Look at the roof deck. It's so beautiful at night. So, it's a little wet because it just rained. But oh, it's so beautiful. Look at Cypher. He loves it up here. See? All the little plant boxer boxes all the way down there. I love that corner. That's one of our favorite corners. I love the palm trees way down there. It's such a good, good energy up here. I cannot wait to have roof deck parties. It's gonna be awesome. Yes. Fives, how come you're, oh, something's in the water there. What is in the water? Is that a cicada? It's a cicada. Sives, don't drink that water. That's rainwater. <laughs> Let's save this cicada, guys. I got ya, I got ya. Come. Oof. See, this is a cicada. Okay, go. Oh, there it goes. And back in the water. Okay, wait. Let me throw you over the edge. Yeah, there we go. Be free, multiply. Cicada. Look at how gorgeous that looks, guys, with the reflection of the plant in their pots. Gorgeous reflection. There's beauty everywhere you look, Mabuhai Squad. No matter where you are, you'll always find beauty somewhere. RJ's busy envisioning. He's looking out. He's like, how can I... I know what he's thinking, guys. He's like, how can I disguise the air conditioning units? I think we're going to build housing for all the air conditioning units just to beautify it a bit more. The parrots are sleeping right now. It's their bedtime. Fast asleep. So guys, it's like midnight and RJ's still not in bed. He's busy. Oh, guys, this is why RJ's been busy. He's been fixing the bedrooms. And not gonna show you the bedrooms. You're just gonna have to wait and see the house tour reveal. Oh, it looks so, so good. This is the green room, guys. What's up, Mabuhai Squad? Good morning, a brand new day. Just got back from the gym, hopping in the pool. Oh my gosh. And drinking some kombucha again. Oh, had a good workout this morning. But guys, I'm reading about um, the news in Canada right now. Apparently, it's a record-breaking, pretty much nationwide wildfire. Like literally, like in several provinces of Canada, there's this massive wildfire that's happening and all the smoke is floating into the cities um, from the East Coast, even Toronto, my hometown of Toronto. It's apparently smoky there. All my cousins are talking about it, my friends. Um, and the smoke is floating down to the US as well. So New York, it's affecting all of those states that um, are close to the Canadian border. Uh, and wow, it's just really, really shocking. First of all, shocking because to the best of my knowledge, I don't recall Canada ever having wildfires. That's more of like a California thing and an Australia thing. Um, usually you hear about those places having wildfires in the news, but not Canada. Like what's going on? Apparently lightning, they say, started it. So I'm like, wow, okay. Um, so all of you guys in Canada and the US who are affected by these crazy wildfires, guys stay safe, have those you know, air purifiers going, running in your home. All your livers right now are gonna be working overtime. So do what you can to support liver activity. Um, get rest, take antioxidants. Don't drink alcohol for now. But it's really, really crazy. Praying for all of you affected by this this huge wildfire nationwide in Canada and in the US. So guys, I've become pretty addicted to this kombucha. Yesterday I had three cans. To me it tastes kind of like a cross between sour ginger ale and like sour Mountain Dew. Kind of like that. It's that kind of taste. Uh, definitely sour. Um, and they come in different flavors and of course it's good for your microbiome. And I've been reading a lot on like gut health and if all the microbes in your gut are healthy, apparently it like is, is really connected to your mental health. Um, serotonin, for example, connected to your, it's produced in your gut 
of serotonin in your body produced in the gut and serotonin of course controls sleep it controls mood controls appetite things like that um, and the gut also has its own nervous system separate from your central nervous system so it's really important I find to have good gut health yesterday I had like a small thing of yogurt mm. and uh, I've been trying to research what foods are good for gut health it's really great some people say if you can improve your gut health you can actually help alleviate certain mental illnesses I'm not a psychiatrist so you could do your own research but gut health I think is underrated you gotta add the little creatures into your gut you need them it's a symbiotic relationship without them you can't digest food and a whole bunch of other things I also read that there are some theories that depression is an allergic reaction to like foods that cause inflammation hear that again I read in one article that depression and some anxieties could be an allergic reaction to inflammatory like to an inflamed gut isn't that crazy so yeah gonna be drinking a lot of this stuff gonna keep eating my overnight oats with all the little nuts and stuff that's good prebiotics yogurt all of that try to minimize my alcohol drinking things like that guys there's the robot vacuuming the floor of the pool I love that so cool it's like a creature doing its thing gobbling up all the dirt and debris that falls to the bottom of the pool OMG guys look at how beautiful this butterfly is visiting these flowers <gasps> gorgeous pollinators isn't she or he beautiful wow stunning butterfly love love I don't know guys I just love watching pollinators whether they be bees butterflies you know ants even oh, and there it goes flying away Wow guys look the blue butterfly pea flowers have finally begun to blossom so you could actually pick these flowers and you can make them into tea I make them into a tea and there's an ant right now helping with pollination how cute and they're supposed to be really healthy guys let's pick one right now let's pick this one this one looks like it's dying and they're totally edible packed with antioxidants See, isn't that cool? Maybe I'll put it into some hot water. Love that we have this. Isn't it called a ternatum plant or something like that? Yay. Pond is fully drained. Um, they're doing maintenance. They're trying to figure out where the leak is. There's a leak here somewhere. Um, but I think they, they found it. So they're going to work on this over the next couple of days. And then we can fill it and stock it with life, guys. Wow. And of course here is, well, I'm not going to call it a Bahai Kubo anymore, guys, because it's not a Bahai Kubo. For those of you who are new, this was supposed to be, like I said before, um, a traditional Filipino bamboo hut. But now it's starting to look more like a heritage home, you know, post-colonial Filipino home. So maybe we should call it, I was thinking maybe to rename it the Pinoy Chalet. What do you guys think? Because it's got like a, it's got a chalet feel, like... See, there's like a back area to it, like a glass observatory, which looks into the forest. So it's like a cottage slash chalet. Still very Filipino looking. So yeah, let's, you guys want to call it the Pinoy Chalet? What do you think? Ooh, beautiful. Look guys, the bird of paradise is blossoming. What a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. <gasps> guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I see tadpoles there's a tadpole do you see it it's really awesome yay my precious peppers are growing grow 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 and there guys see just a few minutes of sticking that flower into this hot water and it creates this awesome blue tea that tastes pretty good and it's packed with a bunch of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants they say it's like green tea, but better. 
All right, guys, so gonna get on with my day here. RJ is busy like fixing the house as usual. Gonna finish drinking my tea and then head to work for Ants Canada. But it's been a long adventure, guys. Haven't uploaded in the past five days, I believe, but didn't want you guys to go without a vlog. So checking in with this vlog and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, guys, for being part of our journey through all of this living here at the Mobile High Squad farmhouse, you know, finishing it finally. Um, it was kind of bittersweet because last week we finally said goodbye to our last construction worker. As in like for the past five years, we've had people here finishing off stuff around the house and slowly, little by little, we let go of the workers. We started with 70 workers and slowly over time just started to have less and less and now it's just us guys rj and i and our team and our animals and it's uh finally the end i'm really happy about that and you guys have been there by our side through all of it thank you so so much so guys if you enjoyed this vlog be sure to hit the like button as it helps us a lot it lets youtube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences and i know you guys have been doing that so thank you so so much really means a lot to us and if you haven't yet what are you waiting for do hit that subscribe button come join our mabuhai squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online i will see you guys in the next vlog all right have a good day Love ya. Bye. Mm.